trying to beat them. And uh, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about, about uh, hate groups. Don't hate the haters. Hate groups are a big part of our society. Everybody's heard about them, everybody's seen them on the news. But uh, there are many different types of hate groups. There's political, there's there's religious, there's racial, there's sexual, there's just, there's that's just what's in the news. Uh, the area that I come from in Kansas is known for one of the worst in the U.S. The, they are the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah, they're a church. Um, the website Top Ten has them listed at number four behind the KKK, Nazis, and ISIS. So they're actually a pretty, they're a pretty bad group. Now, the premise is, their premise is that God is punishing the U.S. because, because of our tolerance for, for uh, homosexuality. But, um, uh, some of you may remember this, but this past October, the church actually uh, showed up to protest at the Gay and Lesbian uh, Center at, I, at IUPUI. Now, there were only nine protesters, but because all the, because the protesters came, this happened. Hundreds of people showed up in just to support, not because they were gay or lesbian, but just to, su to, to, to support uh, a fellow human. <clears throat> so the church really was trying to divide everybody, but I feel like they were just trying, they were more bringing us together than actually dividing us. Um, so, like I said, the, they, they protest at, like, uh, U.S. funerals and, like, military funerals and stuff like that because of what they think God is punishing the U.S. for supporting homosexuality. But a couple of years ago in my hometown, uh, the church showed up at a soldier's funeral. Now, without the protesters, it would have just been a probably regular quiet funeral, you know, friends, loved ones, and he would have just been put to rest. But since, the, because the church showed up, this happened. <clears throat> Hundreds of citizens were lining the streets of my community because they were out in support of this, this one soldier who had passed. Um, this group right here on the motorcycles, well, they're, um, they're called the, uh, <laughs> they're like the freedom riders. They come around, they follow the protesters around actually, and um, drown out the sound of the protest with their motorcycles. They hand out flags and it's just kind of, Bring hope. But um, what I'll leave you with today is the next time you see or you hear about anything protest-wise, don't think about don't think about what they're saying. Turn around in your head and think that because of these people, there's so many more people that were coming out that usually wouldn't have been because of them.